Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to take a look at the two best games with Mr. Rhino the tank which is probably quite hated by the community by the way, don't mind me uh, the sound, you cannot hear how the sound uh, how the tank is driving, so I apologize for that please forgive me, uh, there is nothing what I can do about this I really want to show this specific replay as well because it has the best damage ever uh, made with a mino and I want to talk about this vehicle and how the things are looking like obviously there is a sound of shooting and everything but unfortunately there is no engine sound, nothing what we can change about this anyways this game was placed uh, played by lan lar good job buddy you will see what lan lar is going to do in this game and it is going to be pretty strong battle um, as you can tell Anyways, looking into the situation how the things are looking like here at first um, first and most important thing is He's playing with a Mino tank and Mino is a hold down beast. Pretty much this tank has uh, pretty bad gun handling if I can say so. But what this tank has great, if you are sitting hold down, uh, pretty much no one can do anything for you apart Arta. That is only one thing. Uh, another highlight of this tank is... This vehicle will make even the most patient person to get some gray hair. The gun handling of this tank made me scream like there is no tomorrow. I pretty much hated this tank after first 10 games I played with it and I, I did not enjoy it whatsoever, uh, to say that the least, right? But looking into all of this, Lakeville Standard Battle, it has, it has a very, very huge potential as a map itself. If you are sitting in the hold down position, you are going to uh, feel pretty good and you are going to feel just great. And this is what our hero of the day uh, did. By the way, this gentleman has a better um, test badge that means he's old school uh, player. So kudos to him to stick with World of Tanks for 10 years or so. Very, very impressive. Anyways. Looking into the gun, this tank has 530 alpha damage gun and it has 5 in the magazine and if I'm not mistaken 8 seconds between the shell. Standard ammunition is 265mm penetration or standard ammunition has 265mm of penetration. What that means, whenever you are playing with a slow tank and you need to go into the heavy line and you need to hunt for a pixel weak spots, well, let's get real. Um, shooting the standard ammunition most of the time is not a great option and sometimes loading gold is the way to do the things if you want to be successful, uh, believe me or not. So, this is important thing to say. By the way, this convoy is here having a blast while trying to be the living crap out of this gentleman. Also one more weird thing what I noticed is he has a repair kit on the 4 um, and med kit on the 5 key which is which is quite weird and I can see he started playing like this and he did not change it anything. In other words why to change something when, uh, when you are used to that right? Um, Obviously gold ammunition 330mm of penetration, what that means, that means it is powerful um, and it is capable of doing many many bad things for even the hardest super heavy tanks if you are going to able uh, to hit your shots. Now this tank doesn't have the greatest burst fire ever, believe me, um, it's not like TVP peak for a second and clip the living crap out of the enemies. It doesn't work this way, fellas. With this vehicle, you are pretty much sitting hold down, you are annoying enemies to the maximum, and um, this is what our hero of the day is doing at this point, and you are just farming. You are having a blast while farming enemies. That's about it, you know? If enemies are trying to make some pressure for you, you are just simply retreating a bit, so you are going to set hold down to the maximum, and this is how the game is looking like with this vehicle in the first place. Now, extremely important thing to say. From what I've seen, from what I heard, most of the great World of Tanks players or content creators, they hate this vehicle or they do not like this vehicle and I can tell you why. It is boring as F to play with. 
Uh, what do I mean by saying this? Well, okay, mobility is not the greatest one. That's fair enough, I guess. That is definitely fair enough. Uh, but looking... But looking overall, what is making this tank so boring to play? Your flexibility is pretty much sit hold down. If you are going to uh, go through the open field, you will hate yourself. You are not going to enjoy and you are going to regret your life choices, which happened to me many, many, many times, right? Um, just simply play hold down and you will be great. If you won't, well, then uh, hashtag never lucky. Anyways, why? <clears throat> Why am while I am rambling about this tank, I am talking uh, how Minu is looking like our hero of the day in first uh, um, six minutes manager to craft 5,000 damage. And yes, you hear that correctly. This is the best um, damage score ever made with a Minu. And this is only the start, because looking into the Maxi map, uh, his dear team lost pretty much uh, everything apart Wally, right? There is only safe defense parameter sitting over there, and all and all, obviously, enemies will start making pressure like this very, very soon, right? It is extremely important thing to highlight. So soon, our hero of the day will need to go for a base defense, but before that, he needs to eliminate um, this Conqueror from the game. And I can tell you one thing fellas this guy he knows what he is doing skill how do you know he knows what he is doing if you would pay attention at this he have a rank at battle uh, um, camo as well so if I'm not mistaken he finished in the gold league and to go through the rank at battles it is quite a bit of the pain in the butt to deal with this right so that means he has patience and uh, um, he knows what he is doing in the first place so looking into all of this what he have done he cleared one two line pretty much single-handedly um he obviously took a lot of pressure from the enemies and in the same time in the end of the day uh, obviously he had a lot of friends so that's why he managed to hold them for such a long time just how it goes meanwhile enemy tvp decided to go through the middle of the field and what i really like about this uh, uh, gentleman he knows when to use what kind of ammunition for example Going for a base defense um, is very, very good decision, but you do not need to spam the full gold against the convoy, right? So against the convoy, you are loading the standard ammunition and you are beating the living crap out of him. Obviously, now you have the Mr. Badger in front of you, and for Mr. Badger, it would be very smart to load better ammunition, aka gold. And look how he is doing the things. He's trying to finish the convoy off of the game, aka... Um, there is going to be less guns to deal uh, against and to worry about. This is very, very important thing to say. Meanwhile, 7 point eight thousand damage deals so far uh game was quite long to be fair with you um and in my opinion in order to get uh, scores like this with mino especially with the tanks like mino which are uh, quite slow which doesn't have the best dpm ever and whatnot you need those long games in order to score very very well you just must have those long games uh and world of tanks nowadays do not really offer this kind of uh, this kind of treatment unfortunately nowadays uh the games are very very quick and you are not seeing that too often when the score is 12 to 12 and you are one of the last mother truckers in the in the back or in front uh, however you would call this uh, while trying to deal with enemies those games are real Nowadays, more likely it is 15 to 5 simulator and it's just how it goes. Beautiful, uh, beautiful angle to hit this badger, hip hip hooray. Very, very, very nice. He's doing some heavy lifting right there. And uh, this is the shot when he should get 10,000 damage. Look at this. 10,000 damage achieved. Pay attention at damage blocked and how... Esther is sniping his cupola. This is the cupola where he, he can get penetrated. Um, so yeah, here you go. Esther is doing quite a good job when we are thinking about this, right? Anyways, Esther enough, uh, enough of this garbage. Soon, 
you will get spanked. I think this is what our hero of the day is thinking. And I believe at this point it doesn't matter how good uh, you are as a player. Whenever you are getting that magical uh, amount of the damage in this kind of situation, over 10,000 damage, one shot to 11,000 damage if everything will go well, exactly 11,000 damage. Uh, your heartbeat, tiny touch is getting quicker and faster. At least that's what I think. Also, one more thing. Look how quickly he changed his mind because if he would go in front, there is a humongous chance he would pretty much be uh, dead meat and it would be game over. He decided to go on the reload, which is a questionable decision, but fair enough, I guess, and he's going for a blind shot. Esterva is dead. Let's keep in mind 11.5 thousand damage or so. He has two shots left and this is the worst curse for any autoloader out there when you have two different uh, shells. By saying this, you have um, you have one AP and one hit left. What that basically means, that basically means you can load only one of those. And now Cobra is history, fellas. It is not taking that long for him to reload the last shell and Cobra is saying good night. Beautiful game. Patience in this battle of this gentleman is out of this world. He was patient to the maximum and he did very, very well. I don't know would I be able to uh, do the things he did here. Uh, it is pretty much 12,000 damage and this is the biggest damage um, achieved with Mino. Well, actually there is one more game, but it is farming of a team and I will prove you um, later on. Anyways, this is the first game, the best damage game ever. There is a second play place as well and that game in my opinion is so much more exciting and so much more entertaining let's check it out round number two boys and girls ladies and gentlemen um we have a pleasure watching furious pro beating the living crap out of the enemies with his minotaur so let's see what this gentleman is going to do. Also, spoiler alert, he has the second mark of excellence and I can tell you one thing, this is the way to get the third mark. You will see absolutely everything yourself. From uh, complaining in the chat, from yelling in the chat, to uh, everything, to beautiful, beautiful game in the end of the day. Anyways, um, as you can see, Minotauro is getting uh, towards the Delta 7 position where he can play hold down and it looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. Meanwhile, Bacet is playing in front and... Uh, and Bacet is not very happy. Obviously, Mino wants to play in this position for obvious reasons, but Bacet is getting angry for no reason whatsoever. Probably he missed a couple of shots. And this is how not to behave uh, um, overall, right? Uh, please pay attention at this this is this is not cool thing to be fair with you and i say and i think this is kind of on the um responsibility on the lots uh, boy if i can say so aka this budget right uh so yeah i don't really think this uh, this minotauro pushed the budget out or blocked him overall i think there was some space for movement or whatnot but uh, um you get the point what i'm saying sometimes i can tell you one uh um, saying if you are looking uh, if you are looking for a trouble if you are having a bad day you can blame absolutely everything even the pole which is which is outside uh, um, in your street you know the lamp pole you can blame absolutely everything meanwhile pay attention he is not touching this budget whatsoever he is doing everything very 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 nicely so kudos for uh, sportsmanship for furious this is very 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 nice way how to um how to deal with um, in a way a bit of the negativity in the game very good response and very very nice uh, sportsmanship as well uh kudos to you buddy anyways one thing which i really want to highlight looking into the minotauro gameplay minotauro is not the most exciting tank right um it's not the most exciting tank to play with. It is not the most exciting tank probably to watch it as well. Why am I saying so? Uh, the main reason why am I saying so, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, is 
it feels for auto loader it feels like it has extremely extremely slow reload and it doesn't feel so nimble right it's not like tvp with a tvp you are picking the corner quickly four shells then you are doing something else either waiting until you are going to reload either you are doing something else right and even the minotaur it is you stay hold down repeat after me hold down that's what you are doing and you are pretty much trying to uh, hunt for a pixels or what not right this is this is very important thing to say at least this is what i noticed by playing myself and in the same time looking some of the minotauro gameplays out there yes the score is very very good for example in the previous game 12,000 damage it is absolutely amazing as a score right but it's not very exciting because everything is done in one or two positions, right? Because this is how the things are looking like. And this game is selected for a bit different reason. This game is selected because uh, this is going to be so much more uh, interesting. The situation is going to be uh, like a day and night and it is going to be harder as a game for Furious to, to win this. Obviously now in this kind of situation he is trying to blind fire the living crap out of a way and I have a question. What is the flying FAV is doing in the middle of the field in the first place? This is the question. Anyways, 3.8 thousand damage dealt so far from the uh, from our hero of the day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Obviously, there is still a lot of things uh, uh, for him to do. His team is losing three um, by 3.5 thousand hit points. At, le at least this is what we have visible. Maybe even more. Uh, so yeah, the situation is definitely not looking that great. But this for a tourist. Yeah, heavy tank in the city. Not bad whatsoever, fellas. And looking into this situation, I know what Minotaur is thinking. He really wants to spank this tortoise. He really wants to spank him. And luckily for him, he found the Cobra. Cobra he had second mark of excellence as well. Smart um, mother tracker, no doubts. And this is... Uh, and this is the situation which you do not want to have with Minotauro. Whenever you are sitting hold down, no one can penetrate you. So they are loading high explosives and you are losing your hit points and critical hits in this way. Anyways, do you remember when I said uh, he his team is losing the game by six thousand uh, by three thousand hit points well score just doubled uh his team is losing by six thousand hp flat right so yeah hashtag never lucky and looking into the team setup overall it looks like kind of game over but don't be tricked decisions made in this battle and what this tank is capable of when uh, when everything is going well it is pretty beautiful okay let's sit hold down and let's wait until someone will mess up minus 7000 hp by the way minus 7000 hp well to be fair with you, it might be not that accurate. The main reason why am I saying so is um, those guys who were sitting here in the in the back, they are not caught by uh, amount of the hit points they have. So uh, pretty much in this situation, we can only predict how many HP do they have. Look at this. This is this is so ridiculous. Bloody pixel hunting. Both of the guys are peeking to the certain extent to this. And then they are using their gunnets with their nose and they are <coughs> hunting for pixels. Well, this is World of Tanks nowadays. Uh, one more thing which I really want to highlight and I think it is extremely important thing overall. Uh, nowadays, I do not see Minotauros that often in the game, if any. I know, speaking about... Uh, how actively Minotauros are playing, um, it is somewhere in the middle with activity, right? But I personally cannot see too many of them, and this is an absolutely amazing thing, right? And when everyone... There was a moment when every single content creator was screaming, oh, this is going to be beautiful. Key91PT is having a heart attack, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this poor soul. He 90 pt realized if he is going to run away probably he's going to take one for the team so he decided to do that anyways 
T91 PT is playing just in front of the Mino. Mino is side scrapping T91 PT, cannot do anything. He's having a heart attack and he's hitting pretty much absolutely everything in his way. By the way, speaking about the score, 8 to 11 and soon our hero is going to get flanked. Watch this situation. IS4 down to fartable. Ergashem doesn't have that much HP either, so he is going to be dead. And in a way, the situation is um, 2 versus 7. But look at the solution of all of this. Furious is not a pussy. Furious is going in front like he's furious for sure. Kaboom, shot into the Grille, a bit of the ramming. Grille literally kaku his pants, and Grille cannot do absolutely anything in this situation. Very beautiful play in this situation. Extremely nice execution to ram the living crap out of the Grille. And now he needs to um, claim one shotable targets. There is Type 4 Hash, uh, there is Key 91 PT. Speaking of the Key 91 PT, this guy, this poor, poor, poor soul. Anyways, he's dead, he's in the garage, and we are on the reload at this point, fellas. Minotaur is reloading approximately 20 seconds to get the full clip. This is what is happening there. Uh, situation is looking tiny touch better, but if Cobra will sneak to the ass of this tank, it is game over. Cobra will burst this tank in 3 seconds and uh, Minotauro will be dead. If Cobra is getting obviously the side of the Minotauro or alternatively uh, ass of the Minotauro, it is pretty much game over instantly, right? So this is very, very important thing to say. Anyways, looking into all of this, let the hunt begin. Cobra Type 4 Heavy. Speaking of the Type 4 Heavy... I wish to say my Minotauro gun would work like this because Minotauro gun can make you, uh, uh, you hate World of Tanks. Speaking from experience, fellas. Believe me, I am speaking from experience. Anyways, one gun less, yip yip hooray. There is still Cobra and there is still STB. And we need to figure out from where those mother truckers are going to come, if they are going to come in the first place, right? Meanwhile, Cobra getting spotted and has to be down to one shotable. You know what that basically means? That basically means it's no bueno. Mr. STB, you have a big fat problem. And that big fat problem is Minotauro. Or I suppose to say very angry Minotauro, my man. Oi, 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 oi. Anyways, STB is going home. Minotaur is going on the reload and he is dreaming about magical 10,000. Obviously he's considering his choices um, with the, his blind shots towards Pava, maybe he already has um, 10,000, but I believe at this point he is proud with his performance and uh, uh, he definitely should be. Now obviously only one last survivor left, T30. Uh, and key, and one funny fact for us, Key 91 decided to rig Brother in Arms together with Minotaur. This is absolutely amazing. Also, this is a dream recipe. The last tourist decided to go aggressive against the Minotaur and look at this beauty. Look at this beauty, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. What a gift in the end of the battle. Tourist with a full hit points. He's thinking about how much more damage he can do. He's looking into the Key 91 PT and he's considering will Key 91 PT steal his skill and the answer is no, he won't. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Madness. When you are looking into the score like this, this is definitely madness. Anyways, fellas. Beautiful performance, beautiful battles, and this is how to play with a Mino to perfection. Um, to play hold down, to find, to be patient yourself, to find not so patient uh, enemies and win the game. That's all you need, right? So, let's talk about the scores. Uh, first of all, looking into all of this, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, the game which we just had, it has 11.2 uh, thousand damage, 7 kills, 3,000 blocked, third mark of excellence, congratulations with that, uh, um, furious, a lot of, a lot of medals, most importantly, obviously, rigged brother in arms, and 1.7 thousand uh, base experience for a tier 10 tank, that is huge, fellas, 
this is truly huge. It is absolutely madness how the things are looking like there and what is the score. Now, the very first battle which we had has 12,000 damage. It has six skills, 7.7 thousand blocking damage, uh, pretty good use of the armor. Although, uh, honestly speaking, not as exciting as a game itself, right? The score is great, but excitement level wasn't the finest, at least in my opinion. Plenty of the medals, plus on top of that, Faden's medal killing the last enemy with the last shell, um, and 1.6 base experience to this gentleman speaking about the credits minus 93 credits for this guy after that speaking about the previous game uh minus 77 thousand yes and you need to pay for playing with this tank as well quite madness and now there is one replay we are person manager to get pulse medal and 10 kills and 16,000 damage and third mark of excellence as well that looks good right well not quite both of the teams we are disconnected so pretty much how the things um, looked there um, two guys wasn't disconnected and they farmed literally everyone um, meanwhile uh, well you know Hashtag never lucky boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So to be completely honest with you, it doesn't count as a 16,000 damage game. Those matchmaking bugs are happening and there is nothing what you can do about this. Now speaking about activity of the Mino, I did some research. I checked the things out and looking into the tier 10 tank destroyers, right? Uh, Minotauro is more to the bottom than it is to the top. In other words, there is a bigger chance for you to meet 268 than it is to meet Minotauro in the past seven days, uh, in the past three days. In the past seven days, um, yeah, the, the, the situation is kind of the same. It is just chilling around the middle, uh, speaking about activity of the players. So yeah, looks like even though the tank is performing very, very well overall for general public, um, looks like people are not a big fans of it, which I can respect and I can understand. Anyways, hopefully, fellas, you had a great time and hopefully you were very, very well entertained today. Today we witnessed two absolutely amazing games uh, um, of this uh, of this tank. I'm not a big fan of it, but I hope you enjoyed it. What do I mean by saying I'm not a big fan of it? The Mino never ever been my tank and it never will be. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, thank you very much for everything, fellas. Take care and have a good one. Skill is out for today. Peace.